Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to you, brothers, laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. Salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15 and verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Salakia. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of the unbelief, right, of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hopeful works are fulfilled. So we're in the time of prophecy. The words of Yahweh Bashar Shah are coming to pass. All right, so let's start this broadcast with big story coming in from Pakistan, where according to reports that have come in, at least about 20 people are said to have been killed and over 200 people injured when a shallow earthquake that measured 5.7 on the Richter scale hit parts of southern Pakistan. This is the structures collapsed after the earthquake struck the Balochistan province. Electricity was cut off due to the quake, forcing health workers to treat the injured using flashlights. The worst affected area is the remote mountainous city of Harnai, where lack of paved roads, electricity and mobile network has hampered rescuers in their work. Nasir Nasser, the head of Balochistan's Provincial Disaster Management Authority, has warned that the toll, the death toll, may actually rise further. A provincial official also said that a woman and six children are amongst the dead. The Pakistan officials are scrambling to try and send helicopters to the area in order to support the rescue operations and to help evacuate those who have been injured. The Pakistan, remember, is extremely susceptible to earthquakes since it lies where the Indian and the Eurasian tectonic plates meet. In October 2015, an earthquake that measured 7.5 on the Richter scale struck Pakistan and Afghanistan and resulted in deaths of over 400 people across the rugged mountainous terrain that also impeded relief efforts. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.
I believe, two days last week or last weekend, you had uh, various earthquakes, two of which you just seen in Pakistan and in Tokyo, Japan. But well, these are signs that our Lord Yahweh Shai said to look for when he was getting ready <clears throat> or, or signs to look for of his coming, of his second coming, as it were. All right. This is Matthew. Book of Matthew chapter 24 And I'm going to start at verse 3 And as he sat Upon the Mount of Olives The disciples came unto him privately saying Tell us when shall these Things be and what Shall be the sign of thy coming And how do we measure Alright the times we measure the times By the signs matter of fact <clears throat> Let's go to Second Ezra chapter 9 <clears throat> Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand. That is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And how is the Lord visiting the world which he made? Right by this uh, earthquakes, tempests, storms, all right, uh, the Lord is stirring up the Egyptian against the Egyptian. These are all the signs the Lord said to look for, right? <clears throat> Back in Matthew 24 and verse 3 again, he sat, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, This was a private sitting. His message wasn't privy to everybody, okay? It says, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Yeah, this current age, this current rulership, that word world in this scripture is eon or aeon, which means a, a period of time, right? A period of time that Esau has to rule, okay? Verse 4, And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am anointed, <clears throat> and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Yeah, right now, you got uh, China, all right, putting out the word that if America helped Taiwan, all right, it's going to cause a, a conflict, all right, which could, which could spark, you know, World War Three, which is biblically prophesied, all right? It says... <clears throat> verse verse 6 again and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet for a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places see we see the famines approaching alright these certain uh, supply chain disruptions, all right, all those ships that's sitting out there, all right, in the ocean, on, on both coasts, even in the Gulf Coast, well, that's going to lead, all right, to a famine, okay, because those those goods are not being brought back in, you see, and, and we already see the pestilence, all right, that has spread around the whole world, then the Lord said he's going to bring plagues upon the world, well, it's all signs of his return. Okay, and what else? Uh, what it says, <clears throat> earthquakes in divers places, and it's been so many earthquakes. If you Google right earthquakes in the last two years, it, it's going to give you an incredible number. Why? Because those are signs that we should look for. All right, and I have two more videos that I'm going to play. All right, there's there's going into more signs that Yahweh I said to look for. <laughs>
just two that I was able to find in Slovenia and Rome, all right, where the police actually used water cannons, all right, to, to disperse the crowd. But again, you know, there's nothing more than the words of your how by shout shot coming to pass. Let's go back to Second Ezra. <clears throat> Second Ezra chapter 9. Let's start at verse 1 again. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And how is the Lord visiting the world? Well, we've seen it. Various earthquakes, storms and tempests. Matter of fact, let's get that. All right? This is how the Lord is, is showing the ones who know the signs all right, uh, of his coming, of his uh, second, of him sending his son, it's, it's sending his son back to, to judge the world, all right, and, and to save the elect. This is Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, and verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake, see, and great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire and we ain't even got into you know the wildfires that was ravaging various places around the world greece turkey russia of course here in the united states all right these all are signs of the lord coming back all right to to render his anger with fury okay back in second ezra chapter 9 and verse 2 again then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made and we read how he's visiting the world it says therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world then shall thou well understand that thy most high spake of those things from the days that were before the year of prophecy even from the beginning see so all these things are set to come to pass all right it says even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs yeah we're seeing the signs we're seeing the tokens it says and every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said peril see the said perils are going to be man this great famine that's going to cause sedition all right uh people invading one another right one of those perils hey jacob struggle see it says shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So those certain spirits all right, are, are going to continue, all right, in Yahweh by Shah, all right, and, and, and end up being saved, end up being preserved, right? It says, verse 9, Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and have cast them away despitefully, shall dwell in torment see you're gonna be dwelling in torment all right why because you didn't want to hearken to the one that was being uh given to you by your how by shower shot and again the words of the lord are going to come to pass let's go ahead and close it out <clears throat> this is the book of ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 26 Again, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, and that's who this message is to. All right, of course, we're prophesying against the nation, that, especially Esau, Edom, but it's a warning to you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to get right. It says, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that he seeth is for many days to come. And he prophesieth of times that are afar off. Therefore say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power, There shall none of my words be prolonged any more, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, 
say of the Lord power. And guess what? We're in those times. The words that the Lord has spoken, has prophesied, guess what? They're coming to pass. Signs of the times. That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, it's been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity and salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, coming at you with another lesson. Till the next time I say, Shalom.